Like I said, I just want to go home. Travelers at the Winnipeg Richardson International Airport were faced with uncertainty and frustration as flight cancellations left dozens of people stranded and far from their destinations and their families this holiday season. Look at this place. I've been here since Tuesday and I still can't get a ticket to go home. I want to go home now. I don't want to go where I was supposed to go. I want to go home. Sandy Cava was one of the many people in Winnipeg trying to figure out their travel arrangements as her journey to Grand Prairie, Alberta from Thunder Bay, Ontario was put on hold when her flight was cancelled and now plans to spend her Christmas with her son and grandchildren were dashed. She says her airline, WestJet, have been no help. West joke. She's now stranded, forced to get a hotel in the city for another night and she says something must be done as information has been flying at her from all directions and she still feels like she hasn't been able to get an answer. It's a multi-billion billion dollar company company and this is happening it shouldn't be happening it's because they're short staff that's what it is Kava says she wants to be fully reimbursed for the yeah, cost and frustration and she's not alone in her anger shameful shameful just absolutely shameful Demetrius Sagritis was on his way to Calgary to spend Christmas with his brother flying Air Canada when his flight was cancelled leaving him stranded in Winnipeg claiming he was told he'd be escorted from the airport by RCMP if he continued to wait for a rebooked flight and now he wants answers yeah, it's, it's horrible the executives there Canada should be here it shouldn't fall on the employees because you know it's not their fault but those executives should be here answering to the public we got here and the West Jet woman just told us to, you guys just go home. Some folks like Garrett McPherson, who was on his way to warmer climates in Hawaii with his family, while frustrated, remained optimistic. Well, kind of sad and happy. Maybe it happened for a reason. Both Air Canada and WestJet have issued statements on their social media channels thanking customers for their patience as they dealt with the cancellations. They say they're widely caused by weather and if you're traveling you should double check your plans to make sure they haven't fallen through. Well, Winnipeg Airport's authority exists to serve the community. Officials at the airport in Winnipeg say it's an all hands on deck scenario as they try to help and accommodate the tired travelers saying they too are asking for patience towards those on the front line at the airport in Winnipeg and across the country as they work with airlines to get people to their destination. We understand there is some frustration, especially leading up to the holidays, because a lot of these people are taking off to, to connect with family, friends and loved ones who they might have not seen for a while or even years because of the pandemic. So we appreciate everybody's patience. We're working as hard as possible to, to assist our airline passengers and travelers in any way we can. And, and rest assured, I imagine everybody across the aviation industry is as well. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.